thank you for watching Jerusalem Anglo Community. Your Hamish and New Source in Yerushalayim. Okay, we're going to move on, but just to explain a bit more about why this building is so important. Um, it was the first, um, uh, how would you say, shopping center in Jerusalem. Uh, in the 1970s, they built it. It was considered super modern. That was before Kenyon Malcha. That was before anything. Everyone came from all over Israel. It was very expensive to buy things here. There was a cinema here. This was like everyone wanted to be seen here at the beginning. And then suddenly things went bad, you know. And it's become a very ugly building, which is good, because ugly buildings are interesting. Hey, Daniel, yeah, you made it. I thought you were lost at the, at the bottom there in the second, the no. second row. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Now, now, just before we have to have, um, you're going to have to talk one more minute for the camera. You know. Okay, so. Uh, um, we just started. Um, David is your first name? Yuda. Yuda. Yuda is running the store here. And um, it's a, th a store which helps people. Um, gives autistic children a chance to work here, uh, special needs people, and also people can donate for people who, are lo who have, can't afford a lot of money for cl uh, clothes. They can buy things here. And so this is where we're starting. It's our number one out of 40 stops in Merkaz Klal. And I was just explaining to the crowd here, uh, this was a, a school called the Alliance Israel. It's a French-speaking school. And um, it was, it's a beautiful building. There's another one exactly like this across the road, which they're going to be demolishing soon. So you should go over and have a look at it. And that's the vestige of it. This, uh, we're going to come and have a look at this. It's beautiful. This. We're going to come and have a look at this. They built this school in 1882. So, and um, and the, uh, the organization Alliance Israelite, um, it was uh, aimed to give people a profession as well as Jewish education. And they're all over the Sephardi world, uh, in Morocco, Algeria. It was the first time that they let uh, girls study. It was a competition to Beit Yaakov. Beit Yaakov was more religious. This was more open-minded. And of course, like everything in Israel, it was controversial, you know, with Jews. And what's amazing about this building is if you just keep looking up, you know, it just keeps, this was like a skyscraper in the 1970s. Everyone was here. Now I'm going to take you to the cinema where they used to have a cinema in the basement. It was very sleazy. I've got to explain to you all. There's a lot of things going on here. You don't believe what's going to happen. We've got to, but just before now, I'm sorry, this, I've got to do something very sad, but it's true. Um, about 20 years ago, there was a lot of bombings in Israel. Uh, buses were exploding about 15 years ago. And I personally saw it here. There was a bus here, the number 14. And I was in this building, and there was a big explosion, extremely loud. We, everyone knew that it was a explosion and about 25 people died there's a there's a sign with all the names of the people and after the explosion complete silence nothing it just complete silence everyone stopped and then about five or ten minutes 15 minutes later you hear sirens everywhere coming and so they started to try and recover there's some people who recovered from that bus, a bus. it was a, a suicider and some people miraculously it depended where you sat on the bus that day so they've got the names of the people as well. Okay, so we've already done three stories in five minutes. I hope you're going to get your money's worth for, for, for an hour. So we're going to walk around here for a minute. It's a two-minute walk. Okay, uh, this, is the, this is the main office building, and I'm going to test you at the end. There's a test now. They changed all the, uh, all the floor numbers, okay? So they added seven. So one is now eight. And 14 is now 21. Which means that this is now no longer the Klal building. It's now the Klal Tower. They changed the name. And it makes it even more confusing. You press the, the floor number when you're outside the, build, uh, the elevator. Inside, you can't press it. Inside, it's all the uh, old numbers. We also have, so people are walking around. You can see them confused all the time. They don't know where they're going. They don't know what they're doing. You can see people here. That you can see them, you'll see them in half an hour walking around. People are getting lost all the time. Wait, they added numbers or actual? No, no, they added nothing, they just changed num the number system. Um, it's also complicated. There's also a music school. Um, we just met somebody so, so we can go to the music school as well. So I'm going to come and show you that. We're going to do this. There's a music school here under the stairs in a secret tunnel which no one knows about. 
We're going to go in groups of about 10, just walking in and walking out. Probably five. Five, okay, everyone can put their masks on. So come in five, it's just walking in, walking out. It's just getting more and more confusing, this music school. <laughs> Yeah, it's, uh, it's a month there. Uh, we've got a couple more rooms over here, um, but there are lessons taking place, so I don't oh. want to disturb the lessons. Uh, so my name is Yigal, uh, the name of the business is Lena Genba Kef, uh, and it's a music school. And I'm the, I'm the director of the music school here at Lena Genba Kef. As I was saying, we have private lessons in a range of instruments, including guitar, bass guitar, drums, voice, uh, uh, oud, and uh, wind instruments. We also put bands together. Uh, and we do programs uh, dur in the during the school vacations for kids and teenagers. Uh, I grew up in London, made Aliyah 20 years ago, uh, just over 20 years ago. Okay, we have to go down to the murder scene. Right. We've got a murder scene right. to go to. All right. Who right. okay. else was? Uh, okay, guys, this is as low as you can get. Except for the, uh, we're going to take you soon to the secret car park that nobody knows about except for me. So we're going to take you there. In the, from the, in the 70s to the late 90s, this was a cinema called the Kfir Cinema. People used to come here for date nights. People used to come here, teenagers. This was a, a, a restaurant run by uh, Malkan Sion. They didn't have much there. Um, I came here when I was a student in a program like, um, it's called uh, Taglit, like Taglit, here. And it was like a whole different jungle, you wouldn't believe it. Going to cinema in the uh, late 80s in Israel meant everyone was smoking, the whole, cig the whole cinema was full of cigarette smoke. And there was, um, everyone was eating garinim, the pumpkin seeds, and spitting them in every direction. You know, huge amounts, people had piles everywhere. And people were looking for a fight. If somebody stood up and said, get down, sit down now. And, uh, and people were punching each other. And we, did you talk to my girlfriend like that? And it was like one human jungle going to the cinema here. People then in those days, they never used deodorants. No one knew what that was. So yeah, that was a bit of a shock. But, and then it became a trendy cafe here, Cafe Forte, until two years ago when the uh, corona killed it. You had really fantastic salads. It was just a delight. It was a paradise here. You'd sit out here and everything. The only problem is when it rains, sometimes it's not so insulated and the rain comes through, you know? But that's okay, you get a free shower, you don't have to shower at home. You come here and shower. And, um, and now, just look at the architecture of it. It, it has some interesting things. Uh, people on Facebook mentioned some famous uh, artists. Osho. Okay, so he did all sorts of uh, being lost in some sort of labyrinth, la lost in places. This is here, you got Never it. Labyrinth in the stairs. That's right. Are you, are you sure it wasn't MC Escher? That's exactly what we talk about, it's him. That's exactly what I was looking for. Okay, now we're getting closer to the murder scene, everyone. Let's go and look for that murder scene. They're still in operation. Uh, people, why are they still here? They work, they work. Um, people, there's a police station upstairs and you have to kind of photocopy your documents and so they all come down here. I'm going to show you a place which is a dead end. This you won't get anywhere. You can go all over the world. You'll never see something as beautiful or as ugly as this, you know? <laughs> so, yeah, it's just an example. Nothing works with the clothes. We're getting closer to the murder scene and the beautiful shawls, one next to each other. People have to come here because. Low-income people need to get a, a rental assistance and it comes from mill gum. So a lot of people are looking for mill gum. They spend half an hour to an hour finding, trying to find the place. We're just going to walk by the shul. It's in full. They're doing mincha now, but that's fine. We'll see the action. It's a beautiful, beautiful shul. We'll go in this direction. Um, since the murder five years ago, nobody's been willing to rent the place. I don't know why, you know? It's a pleasant office, it's, it's quite nice. Um, the story is like this. There was an Ethiopian uh, immigrant um, went through a very nasty divorce. 
and he was left with nothing. Um, so he kind of blamed his lawyer for everything. So he came in here shooting and killed, unfortunately, his lawyer and also he killed his, uh, the lawyer's daughter. So it was a major tragedy. Uh, they were arguing, it was completely out of control and then we were told in the building not to leave your office, stay inside, he's still around. The police had to take him out. And I have to warn you now something, uh, are there any people here under 18? Because there's an adult shop here and I'm not sure if it's allowed or not, but we're walking by and not looking. So a lot of shopping things are going on here. It's called Muslala. It's a commune of young people. Um, they're growing all sorts of, uh, they've got a big garden there, they've got books, they've got pottery, they're doing, eating healthy food, and um, it's like a big commune. So you'll know what it's all about. They have one rule, that you're not allowed to have anything to do with, uh, no, mi no meat, no, no meat sandwiches. Oh, they don't want you to have also plastic, anything plastic as well. We're going to come up here. They're growing a lot of things, so I'm not asking what's in the pots, you know, I'm not asking. Okay, so I'll just tell you what's going on here. These are good people, Muslala. They're doing something amazing. It's called the concept of rooftop gardens. It's very big overseas, and they're the pioneers in this place. So. I have only great respect for them. What they've done is taken a derelict old roof and they've turned it into a flowering happy place with cafes and pottery and, and literature and coffee and so many good things going on. We're going to walk around and just enjoy. We've got a fantastic day today and we're just going to enjoy, um, um, enjoy the nature for five minutes and then we've got our next stop. Okay guys, um, I, this is Shimshon and uh, I, you know me as a food celeb but now I'm doing something different. I'm doing ugly buildings of Jerusalem uh, <laughs> tours and I got to the Merkaz Kalal and actually we discovered there's a lot of beauty in, in the ugly. I don't, I can't, I still can't tell if this is a comedy show or an actual tour, but either way I'm really enjoying this. Okay, no problems. So well, let's see, we want to be with, with all the beautiful flowers. Where are they? Let's see. We want to be with all the beautiful flowers. That's the cactus. Oh, you don't want to be seen? Or? <laughs> That's okay. Everyone does what they want, it's fine. Uh, I can do a photo and talk at the same time. Yeah, there's, there's a small restaurant. You can only go one way, you can't come back. So are you guys willing to do that? That's what it says. You can only go one way, you're not allowed to come back. That's half of the, oh, the building is like that. Shawan is going to give us a five minute tour. It's worth it, we hit the jackpot. First of all, welcome to Muslala. It's a place to be one with nature inside the city, on top of a roof. Uh, what you see here, so we have a few projects. Uh, parallel. This is this project is camping, roof camping. We have a room. We have a place for camp uh, for a tent, and we have another uh, idea that's a roof uh, that's opened in the uh, the spring. In the spring, nursery for uh, trees. We keep the trees for two three years until they are stronger, and then we spread them around. Uh, the city because uh, the bo best technology at the moment to clean air uh, is trees. This is the generous tree. It's uh, for meditating, for uh, meetings. It comes from Burning Man, the Israeli Burning Man. Uh, we have a center for a uh, bees house. You can look. Just. We city people sometimes forget that we are part of nature and we think we're a side of it. Uh, this is a place to remind us as humans we're still connected. Five kilometers to pick up the food. I wanted to say thank you for behalf of the Jerusalem residents. What you've done is you've taken... We'll give a round of applause. Mechiat Kapayim. You do to Muslala, it's not me, Musala. I'm just a volunteer here. But here you're doing <laughs> important things, you're taking an ugly building and you're putting a beautiful garden, you've got bees, you t you're, you're using all sorts of recycling, you're doing beautiful things, you're giving us new hope in this building. So, Kola Kabul. Thank you. Kola Kabul. We're here on the set of Shimshon Eats Jerusalem, a YouTube series. 
Our crew of one is mushroom to a crew of three. This is uh, Marcus James here with the tripod. He's our uh, co-videographer on today's shoot. We're in Binyan Klal. We have a still photographer as well. And uh, the whole production team is mobilized at 10 hours notice. In fact, Jerusalem's best loved food celebrity, Shimshon Lashinsky, has pulled together a tour of the Klal building somehow on about 10 hours notice, which is quite impressive. Uh, so if you enjoy, if you're enjoying this, leave us a comment. Tell us where else we should go and see or bring our blossoming crew of uh, video professionals out to the shoot. Marcus, do you want to say anything about working on the crew of Shim Shoney's Jerusalem? Oh, this is just okay. an absolute blast. Now we have Loving every here. second of it. There's a lot of stories here of betrayal and love, cheating and temptation in this building. And um, there's four hairdressers here. There's also two Ethiopian hairdressers. We've got to try and get to them as well. One for the men and one for the women, you know? Um, they normally, all their customers are Ethiopians, but maybe we can have a volunteer who will try Ethiopian hairdress, hairdressing as well. So come on, we're going to go through the, the narrow back alleys here. Shinshun, how's running your first tour? I tell you, this is fantastic. So much positive energy. Uh, people want ugly buildings. They don't want the fun, beautiful buildings. They want the ugly buildings with all the, the nasty stories. That's what they want. A lot of these places are closed and no one knows what they do inside. It's all very secretive. This looks like a very sleazy corner. You wouldn't want to come here at night. People are running businesses. We don't know what they're selling. <laughs> but it looks a little bit uh, like an adult. It could be an adult, adult business here. So many sex shots. Are you willing to go down to the next level? Are you willing to do this? Okay, we'll see if he's willing to talk. Not everyone in the cloud building wants to talk, they have too many secrets. <laughs> if, I'm, if I don't come back after five minutes, call the police. I'm going in. I'm going to ask what's going on if he can come out. <laughs> he's not willing to talk, but he said it was much better in the old days. You can come in and see his sports store quickly. He's doing a booming business. People are doing sport in, in Merkaz Club. <laughs> this wasn't what it was it used to be, so yeah. Now we've got all the watch stores here. They seem to be doing okay. <laughs> Anyone wants to change the battery in their watch, this is the place to go. All over Jerusalem they come here to change their watch the batteries. <laughs> talked about the cloud building it's from 1972 David spoke to us he bought it in he bought it a store here with his brother had a restaurant there was so much hope and excitement it was a shopping center for some reason Intifada happened a lot of things happened things didn't work out we saw there was a murder of an Ethiopian guy came and killed his uh, lawyer uh, we saw um, there's also suicides were going on now they've got bars everywhere so you can't jump out the windows and you can't jump out from the stairwell We've got bars everywhere, we'll show you that as well. We saw there's a lot going on, there's a lot simmering, there's a father and son competing here in the shoe business. And we've got lots of little businesses, and we've got a computer store here, we've got a lot of clutter, we've got old. It's just walking around, come and do some photos, come and have fun. And the garden upstairs, the Muslal is amazing. Thank you for joining the tour, you guys have been amazing. I appreciate it. We've also got a secret car park. Now it's a bit dangerous. Are you willing to take the risk? Are you willing to go through a secret tunnel Dangerous car park? You decide. Yes. Okay. Hey, come this far. Okay. Why not do it okay. all, right? Oh, we really could do it, but you have to stand next to the wall because there are cars going by. You have to walk with your uh, back to the wall as you go. We're going to go through this secret car park which cuts over to a gripper street and saves you a 10-minute walk. So come on down. You know what's like the elevator? You can try it. Some people sometimes get stuck, but you can try it. <laughs> 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 sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Good luck. Okay, this is one of... 
two Ethiopian hairdressers here. There's one for men and one for women. Um, they give you the latest cuts for the Ethiopian community. Very popular here. Um, uh, what, which one do you think I should do? Which one is me? You know, I'm trying to decide. Which one do you think is me? Would, I, would that be me? Would this be me? What do you think? This one could be me? Okay. Um, okay. This way. Back to the wall and be very careful, please. It's very dangerous. It's scary what's going on here. Are you ready for this? Are you ready? Now we're out of the building. We've got sunshine. We've got hope. We've got out to the street level. Is it a bit scary? I'm going to be buying everyone pizza. What do you think of that? I'm buying everyone pizza. We're going to order. I'm going to order the pizza now. We're going to see the rush restaurant. Then everyone, everyone in this tour gets free pizza. You can't get better than that. <laughs> These tours uh, are just getting better and better, aren't they? We're going to get better than this. We're doing a pizza review. We're doing tours. We've got uh, 20 people left. There's uh, cats have nine lives, but according to this story, you only live once. <laughs> just for information, there's at least 100 cats in, half, in uh, the Mercas building. At least 1,000 uh, 1, mice and hundreds of thousands of, of uh, beetles, jukim, cockroaches. I've been, I've been reading your post since the beginning. Wow. So many of my favorite restaurants here. Wow. I found through you, Anipobi Glalishti, Gorsha. Wow. I wow. could go on. Really, that's amazing. I, I'm an influencer. It's great to hear us. Chavirim, Chavirim, friends. Okay, Lina is a wonderful woman. She makes uh, delicious soups, salads. I've eaten food here many, many times. She's always got a smile. It's, uh, this place is called Yolo. In a nutshell, what kind of food do you have? Tell us what you have, what kind of food. First of all, we have uh, Georgian traditional pastries named Tefichiburi. It's like a pastry with uh, Armenian uh, Georgian cheese and the uh, egg. Uh, except for this, we have some, uh, um, some sorts of uh, traditional Russian food, like Russian soups and uh, um, the borscht, Lance. the beetroot soup. Yes. Yeah? Yes. What was, what was it like to finally meet Shimshon Lashinsky, the famous food celebrity? Oh wow! What a wealth of knowledge, of like expertise, of an, a deep knowing of Binyan Klaal. Little at charisma, of course. Little did we know that this interesting, weird building holds so much, and um, uh, and it was absolutely fabulous to meet Shimshon in person. Okay, let's bring out the pizza. I want my camera stuff to eat. So my camera stuff will work very hard. Here's the first place. Okay. Wow. So the drinks coming as well. 